welcome to a new episode of Fit, Formidable, and Fantastic. That's right. Go F yourself, Ed. Happy Friday. I'm going to do a real talk episode this time. It's, uh, it's not going to be like my usual, um, you know, scientific-based episodes. I'm going to cover a topic, um, a conundrum, if you will, for a lot of people who are either getting themselves involved in, at, you know, in the beginning and realizing what it requires, or they're already pretty much knee-deep or further in a lifestyle like bodybuilding. And that is, can you juggle a lifestyle like bodybuilding and have a successful social life or family life, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, at the same time? And the answer um, to that question is, yes, you can, and many do. But there is a question you need to ask yourself, and that is, what is most important to you? Is your dedication, your focus, your success uh, in the sport um, of bodybuilding, for instance, um, a priority for you, a, a top priority for you? Do you not care as much about your social development, your social life, uh, developing a family life, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera? And if that is the case, if you really just don't care, then this video isn't going to be for you. This video is for the, probably, I would stress to say, the majority of people who want to have it all. They want to have a great body, great performance, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, but they also want to have um, a social life and, um, uh, a, you know, potentially a family or whatever. So this is going to be for those people. Um, so the rest of you, you might, you might, you could still watch, but it, it's really probably not going to be of interest to you. So let's move forward. Like I said, the answer is yes, you can. And in this video, mostly I'm going to be um, giving my opinion on the matter, some things I've learned, uh, some tricks I've learned that maybe <laughs> if you're just starting out, you could apply. Or maybe if you're pretty far into it, you just haven't thought of, or maybe you have, but maybe you want to give them a shot because now me repeating them to you can kind of reinforce the fact that, yeah, this might be something to give, give a go to. And that is, um, I will first say, schedule, 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 schedule. To um, One thing you always hear about, uh, about building a good physique, building up your performance, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, is consistency, dedication and consistency. So I'm not saying to skip your workouts. I'm not saying to fuck around on your workouts. I'm, I'm just saying to um, schedule, you know, Work out a schedule that where you can still lift, but it won't interfere with your family life. You know, uh, work out a schedule, some, maybe some you time. Devote like an hour three to five times a week for you to lift. If five times is too much for some people, then narrow it to four, maybe narrow it to three. I wouldn't go below three, but three is, uh, is, isn't asking too much. And I think that if you're with the right person, for instance, if you're with the right spouse, girlfriend, or whatever... Um, or in the case of females, if you're with the right uh, boyfriend or husband, then they should, if they can see that you're passionate about your, your physique, your performance, then they should understand if they're the right person for you, they should understand that you do need your own time too. You do need um, to focus on your things as well. Um, and I could go on and say like, you know, that clingy people and and people who are really um, dependent, overly dependent on someone else uh, and lack their own independence are the ones that are probably going to have the most problems with, uh, with that. Um, and you might want to ask yourself, is that the right person to be in a relationship with too? So if you're in a healthy relationship with someone who loves you and cares about you and respects your goals and your um, interests, then they shouldn't have a problem with you asking for at least three days a week where you take 60 to 90 minutes to go to a gym and improve your health and improve your body. You know, um, so there's that right there. So schedule, schedule, find a time where you can slip that in. Maybe you could take a lunch break from work or maybe right after you get home uh, from, from work, if you, if you work, assuming you work, or maybe on your way home from work, or maybe in the morning you get up early, you go to the gym, you lift, then you go to work and then you have your evening with your family. But it's up to you. It's really up to you. you. You can find a way that works with your family and your schedule. Now, here, the next thing that's really, really strict, of course, is, uh, is dieting. And um, pardon if I'm missing anything here. It's a bit late and I'm, and I'm kind of tired. I've had a long day while I'm recording this. But the next thing that comes up is diet. Diet is so important to 
building a good physique and leaning that physique out to see, of course, the results of all your hard efforts so they're not blurred by layers of body fat. Now, diet has to be on. You have to be on with your diet. You've got to, you've got to be accurate. But what's wrong with, you know, preparing your meals ahead of time, getting them, getting them set up um, so that you're not wasting time uh, come meal time to prepare your meals. Maybe make one day a week, maybe a Sunday, where you prepare some meals for the next few days in advance. And then maybe in the, and within a few days, you prepare meals for the next few days. Or you can do them all for the entire week, like some athletes do, uh, for the entire week um, on like a Sunday, for instance. Or, you know, pick a time. Um, but yeah, I mean, your meals are going to be important. So, um, but but here's one thing I can add too. There are some protocols out there. You don't have to be stuck to like four, five, six, eight meals a day, you know, where it's like, oh, I'm sorry, honey, I've got to like go eat a meal. You know, it's like, fuck, it's three o'clock meal time, you know, when you guys are trying to enjoy an afternoon together or something. So think of protocols, for instance, like um, intermittent fasting or, or the a popular version of intermittent fasting is lean gains, um, where you fast for 16 hours every single day. If you're if you're a guy, if you're a girl, it's more like 12. So think about think about something like that. For instance, let's say you have your final meal at 10 p.m. Well, you would fast until 2 p.m. the next day. That would give you the bulk majority of the of the morning into the middle of the afternoon until you have to have a meal. And let's say you're out doing something with your family. If you're at work, it's no problem. Just pull the mill out while you're at work. I mean, 2 p.m., you're, if you're working 9 to 5, you're at work. But let's say you're out with your family. Let's say you're, at, you know, you're, you're um, in the park or wherever. You're at a game or something. Pack yourself a small snack. Pack yourself something small. It's just one mill. And with lean gains, for instance, um, a lot of times that first mill is a smaller mill anyway, and the mills sort of increase in size as the day rolls on. If you're doing a, like an evening workout type thing, if you're doing a morning workout, then your first meal is usually the largest one. So, um, but you know, another, either way, it still is one meal, and then you can, and you have another three to four hours in, until you eat again. Or if you want to do two meals in the day, you'll have that one meal, and you can eat another one around nine or ten o'clock at night when you get home. So as long as you're getting all your calories and your macros in for your goals, uh, that will work. So there's one suggestion right there. Uh, that's a way of scheduling your meals. You can consider a program like 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 lean gains, uh, intermittent fasting. Um, a lot of people claim that intermittent fasting, for instance, really does uh, work with their lifestyle. It helps them with their lifestyle. It helps them. Um, it, it's easier on the schedule. Is a, is a really good way to put it. So there we go. We've covered exercise and scheduling that. You know, um, we've covered diet. And scheduling that and really the key you're noticing your repeating uh, key here is schedule 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 and beyond that the rest is up to you I mean if you're on if you're strictly dieting and you keep to your diet you know six out of seven days a week then you can allow yourself you can afford unless you're morbidly obese or you're considerably overweight you can afford or, of course, if you're pre-contest and you've really got to keep strict because your contest is coming up and you can't really afford to, um, to, to overdo it at all. Um, you can, if you, but if you're just an average person who wants to have an admirable physique, if you want to be leaned out and look good uh, for the beach, for instance, then if you've been on diet and you've been on check and you've kept to it six days out of seven, and five of those days for most people are at work, you're working, so you're not even like out and about with your family to have to, con to, to concern yourself with, um, with temptations. So allow yourself on one of the days in the weekend. I would say do it on a training day. So if you work out Saturday morning, allow yourself to have a cheat meal um, Saturday evening. So if you want to take your wife or your wife and kids out for a nice dinner somewhere, Go at it, you know, have a nice appetizer, have a nice, uh, a nice main course and have a nice modest dessert. You know, it doesn't mean go and eat everything in the freaking menu, but you can enjoy a nice appetizer, main course and dessert and, and have that be a cheat meal on a Saturday. Pick, pick one day. Now, don't do it every freaking day. Don't do it on Saturday and fucking Sunday. If you want to do it on Saturday, do it on Saturday. If you want to do it on Sunday, fucking do it on Sunday, but don't do it Saturday and fucking Sunday. Pick the day you want to do it and then go right back on your diet. So with this in mind, you're able to keep to, um, you're able to build a diet that will work for your goals. 
you're able to keep it to a schedule that will work for your life, and you're also able to have a little looseness in there to enjoy on a day off, for instance, time with your family at a nice establishment like a restaurant or something of your choice. So th 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 this is another key, another thing you're going to notice here, flexibility. Those are so. I'm sorry if I'm rambling a lot here, but scheduling and flexibility will allow you to juggle both. Because think about it. There are people out there that have one, two, three, four, five jobs trying to make ends meet. And if they can juggle all of that, then you can juggle a lifestyle, fitness lifestyle, such as bodybuilding or something, and your social life. It's not asking a lot. Um, so really, I don't know what else I have to say about that, but... Um, just, just bear in mind that whether it be your body, your health, or it be your family, or your social life, if you end up neglecting one or the other, even one over the other, and there's a severe imbalance happening, whatever is not getting the attention that it needs, it's going to die. It's like a plant that doesn't get watered. It's not going to thrive. It's not going to grow. It's not going to blossom. It's going to die. So if a social life is important to you, you have to pay it some attention to you. You have to pay it ample enough attention to keep it sustained and growing even. The same thing can be applied to your body because they're both very similar. You have to pay it attention too. You have to give it what it needs to, for it to keep sustaining and growing. So, you know, for all you lifters out there who are hardcore lifters, why don't you look at it that way? That your social life, your family life, needs to be focused on as well so it can sustain and grow like your body does. And when you maybe when you take that perspective if you are really hardwired to like drive in and focus on the body a lot, maybe when you take that perspective it'll make a little more sense and you'll be like, hey yeah. If that is, like I said in the beginning, if that is important to you. If it's not, then why are you in a relationship? Why are you wasting someone else's time but that's a whole different topic you know life's all about the choices you make life's all about um, doing really ultimately what's going to be best for you and if that is developing a social life and a healthy uh, lifestyle then you can have both but you know if, if one's more important than the other then you know what you need to do and again, this video is probably, obviously, not going to be for you unless it's opened your eyes a little bit. Anyway, uh, I don't think I have anything else to say in that matter. This has actually gone on about 13 minutes now. It's a little bit longer than I thought it was going to go, but hey, it's a real talk. So uh, if you have anything you want to add or you want to uh, ask, um, again, this is all off my head, off my heart. It's all my own personal experiences and personal opinions. You know, it doesn't mean it's going to work for everyone. It doesn't mean everyone's going to agree with it, and, and that's fine. Uh, but if you have anything you want to add or ask, uh, or you just want to say that you agree or whatever, maybe you want to share this with somebody who is in a situation where, they're, where they, they maybe need to hear this, then do share it along, you know, pass the word around. Um, anyway, any, I'll see you guys on Monday for a regularly scheduled episode. Until then, stay fit, stay formidable. And stay fantastic. I'll see you around.